everyone. Exporting and importing content on WordPress can be useful when you want to move your content from one WordPress site to another, back up your content or migrate your site to a new host or platform. Thus in this video, let's take a look at how to import and export WordPress posts and articles. I'm Aparna Singhdev from LearnWu and let's get started. With WordPress's built-in import or export tools, you can easily transfer your content between sites in just a few simple steps. Let's first take a look at how you can export WordPress posts or articles. For that, go to your WordPress dashboard. Next, navigate to the tools. Export option. Now select the content that you want to export, such as posts, pages, media, etc. Since we are looking to export posts, I'll select that. Next, choose the categories from here. Then choose the author. Then you can also choose the start and the end date if you want to export the post of a particular time span only. And then select the status of the post, whether you want to export only the published post or the on hold post or any other. However, since I need all the posts, I'll keep all the selections to all option. Once done with all these, click the download export file button to download the exported content file to your computer. Next, let's see how you can import the exported content file into another WordPress site. For that, go to that particular WordPress site, log into the site's WordPress dashboard. Now navigate to tools import and here you can see there are a number of plugins that are available to help you import the posts and articles here i would prefer to use the wordpress importer plugin as that is the most easy to use importer plugin install the plugin from the install now option here once installed click run importer Next click choose file and upload the exported post and articles file here and then click upload file and import. Next reassign the author of the imported item to an existing user of the site. Either create a new user with a login name from here or assign it to an already existing author from the drop down here. Next tick the option download and import file attachments. Now click submit. And in a few moments, it's done. Next, let's take a look at another popular importer plugin, WP All Import by SoFly. For that, first install the plugin, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search WP All Import, click install. And then activate. Next, go to WordPress dashboard. Here you can find the plugin tab WP All Import. Go to that plugin. Click New Import. Here you can upload a file from the system or upload a file by choosing one via URL or FTP. Or you can also import posts and articles using an already uploaded file. But to do that, you would need the premium version of this plugin. Thus, here I'm uploading a file from the system. Next, select new items, select post from the drop down menu. Once done, click continue to step 2. This page shows the number of posts that will be imported and allows you to edit it separately. Click an element from the left element menu to select it. Here it shows the total number of that particular element. Next, scroll down to add filtering options. You can add any rule from this filtering option. However, since I don't need it, I'll leave it like that. Once done with all the editing, click continue to step three. In step three, edit the title and content here. Drag and drop or type down a title. Next, add the description. In this step, you can also add images, categories, etc. with the advanced options field. But to access that, you would need the premium version of this plugin. Thus, let's move forward and click continue to step 4. 
In this step, enter a unique detector or you can also auto detect it from here. Next, ensure you keep two options selected. First option is this particular one that is create new post from records newly present in your file. And the next option is update existing post with change data in your file. However, that also entirely depends on your requirements. You can also select the scheduling option if you are using the downloading URL option to upload a file or using the existing file option. In this step, you can also configure the advanced settings according to your requirements. Once you have configured all the settings, click continue. Now click run importer. The process will start and your post will be imported to your target WordPress site in just a few minutes. And that's all. This is how you can export and import posts and articles to WordPress in just a few simple steps. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.